Postal Credit Union. We opened our doors in April 1930. We just celebrated 91 years of service. In 2001, Neighborhood Credit Union officially changed its name to Neighborhood Credit Union. We now serve more than 56,000 members with over $1 billion in assets. Neighborhood Credit Union's ongoing effort to offer members convenient services in their communities and mobile access wherever they go has made us one of the top rated credit unions in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. There is a lot of information to cover today on credit, so let's get started. Okay. Your credit can have a big effect on your financial life. Your credit report provides a snapshot of your financial habits and that financial institutions can use uh, when, they're, when you're making purchases like cell phones, company, uh, cell phone companies, credit card companies, and others used to get a sense of your credit worthiness. Understanding how credit scores and reports work will help you keep your finances healthy and help you achieve your financial goals, such as buying a home, leasing a car, or just paying off debt. Before we get into why credit scores are important, let's discuss what they actually are. A credit score is a three digit rating that tells a lender how likely you are to repay debt. Different lenders use different criteria to calculate it. Poor credit is less than 600. People with a score of 600 or below could probably use help rebuilding their credit history. Fair credit is somewhere between 580 and 670. In this range, it may be difficult to qualify for loans. Good credit is to be considered between 660 and 740. Very good credit is between 740 and 799. A credit score between 740 and 799 is very good. You will qualify for most loans and you probably have a solid credit history. Exceptional credit is between 800 and 850. If your credit score is above 800, you have the strongest credit history and qualify for the best loan terms and interest rates. Remember, these credit score ratings are for informational purposes only. Later, we will discuss and learn how credit scores are calculated. Your credit score can be poor, fair, good, very good, or exceptional. But what if you don't have any credit history at all? Many people, especially young people, have no credit. They have no credit history. It's not a bad thing. It's not the same as having bad or poor credit. Although people without credit history will face similar difficulties in getting loans or proving their credit worthiness. However, there are many steps you can take to start building credit. And one of the steps to start building credit is open a line of credit. This should be a credit card through a bank or a retail store or a small loan that you can repay on time and in full. Special products such as a secure credit card or credit builder loans are designed to help boost your credit. Step two is request that your payment history be reported. If you are if you pay your rent on time or your utilities on time, 
you can request that your landlord or utility company repay, report your information to uh, the credit bureau. However, remember that your landlord or utility company is not required to do so, even if you ask them. Open a joint account. You may request a family member or friend with good credit to co-sign on a loan or credit application. But remember that your actions will always affect their credit. Pay all your bills on time and in full when possible. Never miss a payment. If you think you are about to miss a payment, contact the creditor and see if options are available. But how does credit scores affect your daily life and ability to achieve financial goals? Let's take a look at a scenario. Let's meet Anna and Bella. This is a tale of two friends. Anna and Bella have been friends since middle school. They both own cars and have steady incomes to pay their bills. Anna credit score is 530. Bella's credit score is 700. Anna and Bella decided to buy homes in their childhood neighborhood. One of them receives a loan without any trouble. Unfortunately, the other person has a difficult time getting a loan. When she finally gets her loan approved, her interest rate and insurance premiums are higher than her friends. Now that you know Anna and Bella's story, let's see if we can figure out a few details. Who has the better credit, Anna or Bella? Yes, Bella has the better credit score. Who is likely to have trouble getting a loan, Anna or Bella? Anna, people with bad credit scores have the most trouble getting loans, even though there are other factors that institutions consider. How did bad credit affect Anna and Bella's dreams? Were they able to achieve, were they able to achieve them or did they have a few problems, a few bumps in the road? What are two ways in which bad credit can affect Anna? Credit scores are not the only factors that lenders consider. Factors such as market, down payment amounts, loan terms, and lenders and lender loan policies can influence the cost of the loan. Still, experts and research shows that one's credit score has a large effect on the cost of a loan. As you've seen, credit scores can affect your ability to get a loan, as well as your interest rates and insurance rates. Your credit score can have an impact on many areas of your life, such as getting a car, getting a job, setting up utilities and phone services. So much depends on the three digit score. Who actually comes up with this three digit score? There are three main credit bureaus in the United States, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. The bureaus keep track of your credit history separately. So it's a good idea to utilize each one. If there are large variations and discrepancies with the reports, you should get in touch with the credit bureau to figure out why. Credit scores may also be different depending on the financial product you are applying for. For an example, mortgage applications may obtain a different score compared to if you were applying for a credit card. How are credit scores calculated? As mentioned earlier, different credit bureaus calculate your score, your credit score in different ways. 
While the bureaus do not disclose the exact method or formulas they use to calculate your score, we do know the general factors that they consider. The most important factors that affect your credit score are your payment history and the amount of debt you owe. If you want to follow along in your participants guide, you can find this information on page three, calculating your credit score. OK, let's take a look at these factors. Payment history. Payment history primarily includes looking at whether or not your payment, you pay your bills on time. Do you always pay at least the minimum amount? If you do not, then you're in good shape. If you do pay your bills on time, then you're in good shape. If you make even one late payment, though it will likely have a negative impact on your credit. Amounts owed. The amount you owe depends on two major factors. How much you actually owe on your credit card or loans. Owing money doesn't necessarily mean you're a risk at, to lenders. The most important thing is showing that you make regular on-time payments towards your debt. By the way, if you are an authorized user on a credit card or have authorized someone else on your credit card, their payment history will affect both individuals. What percentage of your available credit are you using? People who are using less than 30% of their total available credit would be a lower risk for a lender. Maxing out your credit card can negatively impact your credit score. The length of your credit history. Credit history is affected by how long you've been managing credit. The longer your credit history, the more information a lender has about your repayment habits. People with a short credit history, even if it's steady and good, may be at a disadvantage because lenders may consider them to be a higher risk. It's important to build and maintain good credit early. New credit or credit that you've recently applied for accounts for a smaller part of your credit score. Each time you apply for a new credit, a lender runs a check on your credit score and it temporarily decreases your credit score. It signals that you might be using too much of your available credit. A smaller portion of your credit score depends on the type of credit you have. People with a mix of credit types like credit cards and auto loans and a mortgage may have a slightly higher score than those who only have one type of credit. Credit scores are extremely complex and your actions and everyday decisions can influence your finances. How about someone else's actions? Can they affect your credit score? Many people think co-signing on a loan is helpful action to take, especially if this person is your child, significant other, parent or close friend. Similarly, many married couples are, plan are people in long-term relationships decide to merge their finances. It's important to know how this decision may affect your own credit score. Have you ever co-signed on a loan or asked someone else to co-sign on a loan for you? Have you ever signed a joint credit application with a spouse or a family member? Have you ever been added as an authorized user on someone else's credit? 
or added an uh, authorized user on your own credit. I have done all of those things. And it never turned out good, but let's keep on. Let's go. Let's keep moving. Let's look at a few scenarios to see how co-signing, merging finances, and sharing lines of credit can affect your credit score. The cost of co-signing. Anna's house is in foreclosure. She has taken some steps to improve her credit and is now eligible for a loan. Anna wants to use the loan to try to stop the foreclosure process, but she has a problem. She needs someone to co-sign. Should her best friend Bella co-sign on the loan with Anna? How will co-signing affect Bella's credit score? Will co-signing affect Bella's credit score at all? If yes, Will it affect her score positively or negatively? No, it won't necessarily affect Bella's credit score, but the loan will appear on her credit report. When you co-sign a loan, you are promising to repay a loan if the other person does not do so. If Anna pays off her loan on time, it could actually help improve both of Anna, both Anna's and Bella's credit score. If she does not repay her loan and she misses payments, it will affect both of their credit scores negatively. Michael, let's discuss another scenario. There is Michael and Tamika are getting married in two weeks. They are thinking about merging their finances by opening a joint checking account and applying for a joint credit card. Tamika has good credit, a good credit score, but Michael does not. Should they sign up for a joint credit card? Will having a joint card on, or a joint checking account affect Tamika's credit score? Will it affect her score positively or negatively? How will merging finances with Michael affect Tamika's ability to get a loan? Now, having a joint account doesn't affect a credit score. Now that's a joint checking account. It doesn't affect her credit score. Yes, it will affect Tamika's credit score if Michael does not pay his bills on time. If Michael starts to not paying his bills on time, then her credit score will go down as well. It will affect her credit score negatively. It will affect her ability to borrow since she may be considered a higher risk. Many couples choose to get joint accounts because they're convenient. It's important to remember that even if a couple merges their finances, they will still have their own individual credit score. They will not receive a joint credit score. In this case, Michael, Michael's credit score may not negatively affect Tamika's credit score, but it could negatively affect Tamika's in other ways. They may receive a higher interest rate on a car loan or a mortgage because lenders may evaluate both of their credit scores to calculate the risk of lending them money. It's not always the case, as some lenders may not look at the highest score. The lowest score are both. But it's important to be aware that a partner's poor or bad score may affect the amount you pay in some cases. Applying for credit on your own or with someone else can affect your credit score. Be mindful of your own credit score before making decisions to co-sign on a loan or merge accounts with someone else. Their actions like not paying loans 
uh, change, damage, can um, their actions like not paying back a loan can damage your credit. Also, their credit score can affect the cost of financial products for both of you. We've talked about credit scores, but what about credit reports? Your credit report is a snapshot of your credit profile, including your history. Every time you take out a personal loan or apply for a credit card, those actions will appear on your credit report. It's important to review your credit report regularly. Keeping an eye on your credit report can help you in many ways. It can help you detect fraud and maintain or work towards a better credit score. You can get a free credit report from each of the three credit bureaus per year, one online and by phone. To get your free annual credit report, you can go to annual credit reports at um, annualcreditreports.com, which is the only website that is federally authorized to give you your credit report for free. You can also request your credit report for via telephone number 1-877-322-8228. And you don't have to worry about writing this down because this information is on page four in your participant's guide. Because you can only request your Equify Experience and TransUnion credit report for free once a year. Think about spacing it out, spacing out your request to maintain an eye on your credit report. Maybe get one from one of the agencies every four months. That way you cover the entire year. You are entitled to one extra free credit report under certain circumstances to verify the information. For an example, if there is fraud on your account, you're entitled to a free credit report. If there is denial of credit or unemployment, or if you uh, should have government assistance. Credit scores, unlike your credit history, are not currently included in the free credit reports available. You can get your credit score by requesting it from various companies, including the different credit bureaus. They all chain, they all charge you a fee. Your credit report will contain four major sections. We're gonna review each section for accuracy. Make a note of any inaccuracies, unknown, suspicious, or suspicious details. We'll get into disputing and correcting those errors shortly. Okay, so uh, one of the strategies for rebuilding credit is personal information. Check your personal information. 